took that the elastic potential energy of a spring elastic potential energy elastic potential energy of a spring of a spring which is elongated or expanded which is elongated or expanded is ep equal half k x square where k is the force constant of the spring k is the force constant of the spring and x is the elongation or expansion of the spring x is the expansion in the length of the spring we consider a rigid support at o to which a spring is connected and the other end of the spring the other end of the spring is uh, attached to a block of mass capital m this is a block of mass capital m which is attached to one of the end of the spring and the block is placed at the point a k is the force constant of the spring now the spring will be elongated by applying a deforming force on the block here the spring gets elongated towards right along x axis number of turns of the spring remains constant according to the diagram number of turns in the spring is 8 uh, and the spring gets elongated and the body will be displaced to the point b from the point a due to application of a deforming force and here this will be the elongation of the spring x is the displacement of the block of mass capital m and it is also the elongation of the spring towards right along x axis the spring gets elongated due to application of due to application of a deforming force f towards right f is the deforming force which is acted on the block of mass m attached to the spring so f is the deforming force due to application of this deforming force uh, the spring gets elongated by uh, uh, an elongation x from the point a to b this is the deforming force f due to uh, application of this deforming force restoring force fr comes into play in this direction fr is the restoring force which acts towards uh, left this is the restoring force this is the restoring force also the spring gets elongated further by a very small uh, uh, elongation dx towards right the block will be moved to the po uh, point c the block will be moved to the point c for a small elongation dx for a small elongation dx by increasing the rest, uh, deforming force f and restoring force fr comes into play in the opposite direction towards left the spring gets elongated further by very small amount dx from the point b to c dx is a small increase in length of the spring when the spring gets elongated from the point b to c let a spring of force constant k let a spring of force constant k be fixed to a rigid support be fixed be fixed at its one end to a rigid support a spring of force constant k be fixed at its one end 
to a rigid support at O and the other end of the spring and its other end of and its other end B attached to a block of mass capital M and its other in B attached to a block of mass capital M placed on a surface along X axis. This is the block in the diagram uh, block of mass capital M which is attached to one of the ends of the spring of force constant K and at O we have a rigid support to which the spring is also attached to which the spring is also fixed. When the spring, when the spring is pulled, when the spring is pulled from the point A to B, when the spring is pulled from the point A to the point B, to the point B for an elongation X, for an elongation X by E, Applying a deforming force F towards right along X axis on the block by applying a deforming force F by applying a deforming force F towards right along X axis on the block of mass capital M which is attached to the spring of force constant K by applying a deforming force F on the block M attached to the spring comma a restoring force a restoring force fr comes into play a restoring force fr comes into play which is given by fr equal a restoring force comes into play which is given by fr equal minus k x negative sign indicates that Negative sign indicates that this restoring force, this restoring force FR acts in the opposite direction of the elongation or in the opposite direction of the deforming force F. In the opposite direction of deforming force F. And the, elong uh, the elongated spring will have a tendency to regain its initial length or configuration due to this force. And the elongated spring will regain its initial length or configuration due to this restoring force FR. The elongated spring has a tendency or will have a tendency to regain its initial length due to restoring force. Has a tendency to regain its initial length due to this restoring force. Therefore, small work done. Therefore, small work done. In the above paragraph, this, uh, we have to write the elongated spring will have a tendency to regain its initial length due to the restoring force. Now the small work done in increasing the length of the spring by further small elongation. Small work done in increasing the length of the spring by further small elongation dx is given by dw. dw is small work done which is the dot product of restoring force and small elongation vector fr dot vector dx equal fr dx cos theta where theta is angle between fr and dx as vector fr fr acts in the opposite direction of opposite direction of dx opposite direction of small elongation dx hence uh, theta equal 180 degree equal fr dx cos 180 degree Now in the second diagram, the spring gets elongated from A to B for elongation X and the spring gets further displaced 
from the point B to C for a small elongation dx. So in this case work done against this restoring force FR. FR is the restoring force. FR is the restoring force. Work done against restoring force will be FR dx cos theta. So as dx small elongation uh, acts away uh, from the rigid support and restoring force FR acts towards the rigid support O. So that's why theta is equal to 180 degree. If dx acts towards right and FR acts towards left, that's why theta equal 180 degree. So therefore, dw equal minus FR dx since cos 180 degrees minus 1. Now putting the expression of FR equal minus under bracket minus kx dx since restraining force FR equal minus kx. Therefore, W equal kx dx. W equal kx dx which is the small work done for small elongation of the spring. Therefore, total work done Therefore, total work done in increasing the length of the spring, in increasing the length of the spring by an elongation x, total work done in increasing the length of the spring by an amount x is W equal integration dW, 0 to x. 0 is the lower limit and x is the final limit of elongation. At A, x is equal to 0 in the diagram and at B, the elongation x is equal to x. That's why we have taken the limits of integration that is 0 from x equals integration 0 to x, k x dx. k is constant, we can bring k outside integration equal k integration 0 to x, x dx. Now integration x dx is x square by 2, third bracket close 0 to x. Putting the upper limit x in place of x equal k third bracket opened x square by 2 putting upper limit x in place of x then minus 0. Therefore w equal 1 by 2 k x square or x square. w equal 1 by 2 k x square. This is the total one work done in increasing the length of the spring by an amount x. This work done is stored this work done is stored in the spring. This work done is stored in the spring as elastic potential energy. As elastic potential energy. EP. This work done means W is stored in the spring as elastic potential energy. EP. At the point B. Therefore, EP equal W, EP equal W, therefore, EP equal, putting the expression of W, EP equal half K X square, EP equal half K X square. This is the expression of elastic potential energy or elastic energy or elastic potential energy or potential energy, potential energy, this is the potential energy of a spring for its elongation, for its elongation.